here today. We're going to be uh, doing a car here shortly. I wanted to bring your attention to this unit here. This is our new AC unit. This is what ships with all multi-use uh, AC treatments. Uh, what it is, is a unit that will treat both a car, 134A, and R12, uh, 410, 22, all the home ACs will treat off of this fitting here. You would treat the uh, larger of the lines that are in the unit. The cold line is where you're looking to, to achieve your uh, insertion. Uh, at no time should you ever connect this in a home AC or a commercial AC to a high pressure line, which would be the hot line, the smallest line on the system. You always want to go on to the cool to the touch line or cold line, one or the other, but not a hot line. And what you would do is screw this on. Uh, once you're done doing that, I'm going to go over this real quickly. We'll go over it again in the film that you'll see here in a second. But you basically would open this fitting up right here so that it separates. You would take and hold this on this part and you would screw this all the way back out counterclockwise. As you see it's getting larger and larger and larger. It's going to extend out. This unit holds approximately a half ounce uh, and that's sufficient enough to do any car, large car. Uh, basically it's an empty tube. We're going to go ahead and in the in the next segment, we'll show you how to fill it and do all that. But we're going to pour it into here, top it off. If it's not topped off because the dosage is low, you'll screw it up until it is topped off to the bottom of the threads that are in here, uh, thereby limiting any air that's going to go into the system. A little bit of air in the air conditioning system is not going to hurt anything. Don't worry about it. It's, it's just the way, it, the way it is. So we're going to screw this up. Imagine. Now it's up to the threads, we're going to hold it up and we're going to snug this system up onto it and snug it with our fingers here. Once that's done, we'll make our connection in the event of a house, you would use this. If you're going to be doing a car, you'll screw this on snug and this is already pulled back. You basically take this and I'm looking to see if I have a fitting here to show you, but I don't. Uh, you basically just click it onto the one side on the low side, again, which is the larger tube, or the cold tube is the one you're looking for. It will only clip onto the, to the low side, so you shouldn't have any problems on a car. You're going to clip it on, click it, grab the tube, push it on until it clicks. You'll feel it click, make sure it's on there tight, snug. You'll go ahead and do your treatment slowly. When you're all said and done, and you want to release this from the unit, you'll pull up on this blue part and the blue part here will release it it pulls straight up then you want to check and look at look at the orifice that this came off of and you want to make sure it's not bubbling not leaking any of those things you can even put your finger over the top of the orifice and see if it's pressurizing under your finger if it is then you need a core tool to uh, restore the core or make sure that you have a nice a good cap to replace it with uh, that has a seal in it and that will stop any leakage that's going on. So you want to make sure you put all your caps back, keep the dirt out of them, that protects them from core tools going bad. So this is the, uh, the preliminary here. I just want to go over the tool. It's a great tool. It's reusable, reusable, reusable. Uh, just be very careful, follow the instructions. When in doubt, give us a call. Uh, tech line is 310-617. 5757. Five, it will also be right here on the bottom of the screen as we're going and I'll leave that up so you can review it again. But again, any questions, any problems, uh, give us a call. We'll walk you through the system. It's very easy to do. All right. So let's get on with the... the hey guys, folks. John Murray here, Summer Industries. We picked up this here new truck and we're going to treat this thing stem to stern with... Uh, Thermal products. First thing we're going to look at is the air conditioner. It's blowing cold, but not really cold. It's about 100 degrees outside today. Ambient. This has been running for a few minutes with this thermos in it. And we have 68.5 degrees Fahrenheit coming out on the uh, vent here. The 
this vehicle has rear air and front air, they're both on at the moment. So we're going to take a look. Okay, and we're back. Alright, we're going to check out this vehicle. We're also going to show you how to use our new AC applicator for the cars. We're going to connect up the, uh, the receiver a unit like this in your kit. Comes with one of these, and it could be a curved one, a 90 degree one. For a car, you're going to screw it on. Make sure it's snug. What you're going to do is extend this out, break this point right here, and open it up. Which has the opening in here and relief here. My campus will give me the treatment. We're going to take a one ounce treatment. And we're going to pour that in here. Popping it off, take our unit like this and screw it up. And you're going to screw this until it's snug. Okay, so that's nice and snug. And we're going to start rotating this clockwise into the system until we see some product come out. Depending on the applicator, you may not see some product come out. But we will take this, we're going to go on low side, it's going to be the cold tube. It will only fit on the low side. We're going to go ahead and place that on there. Make sure it's all the way down on the line. Once it is, we're going to start screwing the unit very slowly while the AC is running full blast. Very important that it's be running and that you do this slowly. What you do is about 110 degrees in this room right now. Now always remember while you're doing this is to make sure you follow the dosage chart that's included with your kit. If you don't uh, understand it, call the one uh, call the tech line, so the tech line. And somebody will walk you through it. Anybody can do this. Get it very slowly into the system. Okay. So what we've done is we finished up, we put all the product in. Now we're going to grab the applicator and pull up on the outer ring while pushing down. And it should pop right off. What you want to make sure of is that your nozzle is not leaking. Now this particular car it is. It has a bad uh, one that has to be replaced. So what we'll do is just uh, for now we'll go ahead and cap it a little secure. That should seal it up. season this in and then we'll come back and show you the uh, results of the uh, cooling effect. Well, we're back and uh, we went ahead and seasoned it and what I want you to see right here is the ambient temperature in this room. Here, let's try it again. So 116 degree ambient as you see it's just out in the air. What we're going to do is we're going to take this meter. As you remember, we put it in the car before. And we'll put it in the center center unit here. And see if we can get a color on it. So I put it right there. We're going to go ahead and turn the air conditioner up to four. It's cold. And we'll see where this thing goes. It's 115 degrees outside. So we're basically 50 degree drop right there. Okay, and that's idling. 
just like it was before. Go ahead. Give it a little bit of Now that we've had a chance to go through the, the basics of doing AC, one is the uh, applicator itself, two is verifying the fact that you will uh, check your dosage chart for each application and when in doubt call the tech line and someone will help you determine what's the best treatment for your vehicle and or your home. Uh, in the test we noticed that first of all the ambient temperature outside was uh, 116 degrees plus uh, with the car staying stagnant we did have a low level fan on the front of the car to help it out a little bit but as you noticed in the very beginning of the film the car when it came into the shop was only producing around 67 degrees <coughs> excuse me on the output of the uh, register and after the treatment uh, with approximately a half ounce uh, maybe slightly more than that because it's a dual layer. I think we put in about uh, 0.6 of an ounce uh, for the dual layer system. We yielded approximately uh, 48.6 on the final output at the air. Uh, that in itself is a reduction or a transference of over 50 plus degrees uh, across the board. That's pretty unheard of in an automotive AC. Uh, this is uh, a direct result of utilizing the Serma AC treatments. Our treatments do a few things. One is to lubricate the pump. One is to absorb moisture in the system because if moisture is in the system and it freezes, it can absorb heat as well as something that is not frozen. So therefore, the removal of all moisture is a good thing. Uh, so basically, the CERMA is going to do a few things. Lubricate the pump, protect the pump. Uh, basically laminate the lines so they can transfer heat better. Uh, reduce all the moisture and acid that is in your system. It's going to help you basically uh, enjoy your system for a lot longer with a lot less failures and a lot less service. As you noticed in the film though, this particular car, and this is something you have to pay a lot of attention to, this particular car had a leak in the orifice. So had I not closed it up well or closed it with a seal on the cap, it would have leaked out the Freon and of course the system would degrade over time and, and eventually need service. This type of thing is not something that you as a layman, if that in fact is the case, should attempt to repair. And from Survey this Industries, is this is John Murray. Uh, I am the head tech here, and anytime you need any assistance or advice or have questions concerning our products or your vehicle or any other situation, feel free to call. The uh, number is prominent on the website. Again, servicestore.com, C E R M A, store.com, or in this video, you'll see it posted. It's 310-617-5757. And I wish you happy motoring and long life for your car. And uh, a lot of money kept in your pocket, not in the mechanics, okay? Have a great day. If you need us, give us a call. Thank you much.